In this video, we will demonstrate the Responsive Events module where members can view, register, edit, and cancel registrations from their mobile device. The arrows going in a circle is the sync option. It allows you to download an ICS file to synchronize the event calendar to your personal calendar. The magnifying glass allows you to search events with words. Click to show the search event name box. Type golf. Only events with the word golf appears. Delete the words to clear the search. Click the magnifying glass to hide the search box. The filter icon will show additional filter options. The registration status filter will show all events by default, or you can choose to show events that allow registration by clicking registrable only. Booking types will only be available if your club has enabled this feature. It will display other modules such as tea times, courts, dining, and lessons, all within your calendar module provided you are registered for an event from these modules. Locations is a list of locations where events are taking place at the club. By default, all locations will be selected. You can click on all locations to deselect and click on the locations that you are interested in. Categories is a list of all the categories of events that the club has created. By default, all categories will be selected. You can click on categories to deselect and click on the ones you're interested in. The difference between locations and categories is that the categories can be color-coded. Guests, by default, no preference will be selected. You could select events that allow or disallow guests to be invited. Birthdays will only be available provided your club has enabled this feature to show member birthdays on the event calendar. Gender, by default, will be set to no preference, or you could select gender-specific events. Click Reset to clear the filters. To hide the filter options, click the filter icon at the top. The mobile view of responsive events only displays a calendar in list view. This will list all events in the current month chronologically, with events starting on the first of the month at the top. The following information will be found in list view. The date of the event, the start and end time, circle with a color if the category has been color coded, the full name of the event, and location. Note the event can take place in more than one location. Beside the event name, additional icons may appear. These are represented by the legend up at the top. The green check mark indicates that you've already registered for an event. The clock icon indicates that it is a popular event, but you can add yourself to the waitlist. The red circle with the strike through indicates that the event is full and you will not be able to register. To find events taking place on a particular date, choose Select Date. A calendar will appear, allowing you to use the left and right arrows to choose past or future events. Select the date to see events. You can now use the left and right arrows to go to the past or future events. Or you can click on today, which will bring you to today's events. Since we want to sign up for the ladies fitness class, we will not be clicking on today. To see more event details, you can click on the name of the event. In the event details screen, you will find info about the event, starting with the event name, date, time, and location. The More Info tab will only be available provided it is applicable for the event. Information that you will find here will include the category, the age, gender, guest restrictions, pricing if the club has set up any, and including cancellation policies. Please note, pricing is for information only purposes. Payment will not be processed on the website. Others attending will only be available provided the club has enabled this feature for you to view other members that have already registered for the event. At the bottom, you will find text, images, and links with additional information about the event. Let's go back up to the top. If you're not interested in this event, you can click on the left arrow to go back out to the calendar, or you can click on the register button. Some events will be for information purposes only, so they will not have a register button. On the registration screen, 
you'll start off with the event details, more info, and others attending information. Scroll down to complete the registration. Since you're logged on to the website, you'll be by default in the first registration spot. The registrant category can be set up with one or multiple options to choose from. Select the registrant category that is applicable for you. Note, not all events will have pricing information. A reminder, the price is for information purposes only, and you will not be making any payments from the website. Your club will communicate with you payment options separately. Registration events can be set up in a few ways. One, named registrants. Two, unnamed registrants. Three, it can be set up for both, named and unnamed. In this event, we are allowing both. First, we are going to demonstrate three ways a named registrant can be added, starting with Add Member. Type the first or last name of the member you wish to add. Click on their name. Scroll down to see the name of the member you just added. Choose the appropriate registrant category for the member. And if you selected the wrong member, you can click the X beside their name to remove them. Let's add a guest. Type in the first name, and if you select Add, it will not let you continue. You must add a last name for the guest. Email address is optional. It is used to send your guests an email confirmation upon completing the registration. This will only be sent provided your club has enabled the email confirmations. Select Add to add this guest. Scroll down to see the guest. Select the registrant category for them. Add buddies and groups. Buddies and Groups is a list of members that you hang out on a regular basis. You would have preset from the Manage Buddies and Groups tab your favorite people. So instead of having to type their names in every time you register for an event, you can easily select them from a list. Select Joy from the Buddies area. Scroll down to find Joy added to the event. And that is how you can add named registrants. The unnamed section is simply a headcount so that you can easily reserve a spot for the event. The club doesn't necessarily need to know the name of each individual that will be attending. Use the plus and minus signs to add the number of people for the event. Further down, you will find a requests or notes box. Type in additional notes for the club to be aware of if you wish. Select Continue to complete your registration. If you want to double check the information you have registered with, you can scroll back up. And at the top, it will also tell you how many registrants are currently booked for the event. At the very top, you'll even see a total of the pricing. Select Continue to proceed. The Continue button has now turned to Complete. This happened because there are additional questions that you need to answer before completing the registration. If the event did not have any additional questions, you would have seen complete on the previous screen. Scroll down to find the additional questions that have to be answered for this event. There are personal preferences questions. Any questions that have a red asterisk indicate that you have to answer these, otherwise it will not let you complete the registration. There could be multiple choice questions where you simply choose from a list of answers and choose the one that's most applicable for each named registrant, or there's a text box for you to simply type in the answer to a question. If you forgot to add any special requests, you can type it in the box or if you had anything on the previous screen, it will be carried forward. Scroll down to click on the complete button to complete the registration. The check mark indicates that the booking has been completed. You'll now be able to see the event details along with the confirmation number. If you scroll down at the very bottom, you'll be able to see the four options. You can update your booking, meaning you've selected the wrong people or need to change the answers to your questions. You can cancel your booking if you chose the wrong date. You can email the event details to your guests or other people that did not get the email confirmation and view in my bookings.
Reminder and email confirmation will be sent to you along with any members that have email addresses on file, provided the club has enabled the email confirmation. If you close this window and want to view your bookings, you can always use the three dots up at the top and select the My Bookings option. From here, you will see a list of upcoming events that you have already registered for. Once the event has taken place, it will no longer show up in the My Bookings tab. You will have the option to edit with the pencil icon to make your changes, or you can hit the X icon to cancel your reservation. For more details on My Bookings, please watch the My Bookings video. Click on the three dots to select Manage Buddies and Groups. This is where you can manage your favorite people. You can create individuals or you can create groups of people that you hang out on a regular basis so that it saves time when you register for events in the future. For more details on how to create your buddies and groups, please watch the Manage Buddies and Groups video. Use the left arrow to go back to events. From here, we just want to demonstrate how a waitlist event will work. Scroll down to our winemaking class and click on the name of the event. Here you'll be able to see the event details. The only difference between a waitlist and a registration event is the button. Instead of register, it's called add to waitlist. From here, all the steps are the same to add to a waitlist. And that concludes the responsive events video from a mobile device. Thank you for watching.